Hi y'all, Shoe 7. Okay, so I came back to make another video today because, of course, um, you know, I wasn't finished yesterday. But I just wanted to tell y'all ladies who are out there in the dating game, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you came late or had to go back out into the dating game at this time because men right now are not the men of yesterday. They're not the men that um, were around when I was dating. They're not the men that were around when uh, my older sister was dating. These are the products or the men that are more feminine. They're like, they're not wanting to do any type of um, male activity. They're, you know, they're stuck inside playing their video games. A lot of them don't even go outside anymore, play basketball, participate in any type of sports. So they've kind of grown more like lazy. They've kind of grown more selfish and they don't uh, offer the same things that men used to offer probably 10 years ago. So they're more like a female now. They they think that they deserve things and they think that they're supposed to be catered to and they think, you know, this, this and that. But it's really not true. Um, you know, they're used to getting everything from their mother. They didn't have a male role model most of the time or if they did, they weren't interested in participating in what that male role model was trying to teach them. But, um, you know, there's still, you know, lessons, books they can read, understanding what women want, and they can kind of, you know, understand that they are acting a little bit more like little girls. And the reason why they have to go outside of their country to find any type of woman is because in those foreign countries, the men are real men and they don't expect anything less. So when they see a man, they just think, man, oh, this is a man. He's not gonna, um, you know, he's not gonna expect this, 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 and that of me because he's the man. And then when they go down there, they act like they're supposed to be acting here. They act all macho because they have to compete with the real men in those other countries. You know, the ones that work and let their wives stay home. You know, the ones that pay for everything. They have to compete with that. So they go down there and they put on this front. But they're but here they're whining, you know. They're asking women to go on walks for dates. I can walk my dog, okay? That's my date. If I'm going to go for a walk, I'm taking my dog. And if you call that a date, then obviously you like to be walked like a dog. I don't know. <laughs> but I saw that in the comments one lady, if you know who you are, she left that uh, guys are saying, well, let's go for a walk for a date. No, I can go walk my dog in the park for free. Uh, <laughs> so, the thing is, you know, when you, when you when you first get approached by a man, you you can size him up quick by asking him a few questions. You know, what's your ideal first date? If they say something cheap, keep going. Um, <laughs> if they if they say, uh, oh, walk in the park or walk on the beach, just be like, okay, a walk, bye bye. Um, but yeah, you can kind of, you can kind of size up a person by asking them a few questions. You know, what's your ideal date? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? And, you know, um, what do you do for a living? And yes, those are good questions to ask up front in the beginning because you don't want to waste your time. Time is precious for women, okay? Women don't have the time men have. So we have to be direct and upfront and we have to bypass if we don't think that you're the one. We got to we got to cut you off quick. We don't have time for that. Um so yeah, so a lot of guys you know, they might be offended by this message, but I'm not I'm not being rude. I'm just being honest. This is what women are thinking. You know, they're just not going to say it because they're single and uh, some of them don't want to, you know, ruin their chances of getting a partner. So they kind of like keep quiet, but I'm, I'm married, so I don't have to. So I'm going to tell y'all. Women think guys act more like females today. They're over emotional. They want everything handed to them. They don't want to work anymore. They actually, I feel like they want to switch places with us for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and, you know. 
even if they do and then they expect us to you know cater to them and be like superwoman they can't expect that because we're not turned on by that unless we're lesbians and then we just be with a woman you know being with men these days would probably be more like being with a lesbian except the lesbian is probably more masculine if she's like a, a stud or a butch <laughs> okay um i'm just saying you know if if women are going to settle for these men today they might as well be gay because that's all that they're you know they're acting interacting with someone that wants to be just like them i don't understand uh if you're not going to be the man in the relationship if you're not going to put you know be the breadwinner if you're not going to pay for dates then why are we even together you know i don't need you i can go out and get that with a woman a friend a dog you know <laughs> that's the point like women have too many options women have so many options and men just think they don't we don't like y'all have to leave the men have to leave the country to find the type of woman they want to you know because they're so lazy and they don't want to put in effort and work they got to go to another country where their dollar is worth more because they they they're just too lazy to get up and meet the standards of the women in their own country so they go off and they they save up their little tax money and they go to a foreign country and trick these women who are basically prostitutes in disguise but their ego won't accept that <laughs> and you know they give them they give them a free meal they might get some sex or whatever, but, you know, might end up getting their wallet stolen. <laughs> might end up, might end up with a disease and then they have to come back and deal with all of that. But meanwhile, well, you know, while they're down there, they're in the fantasy land. They feel like, oh, women love me. Women love me. When they come back to their own country, it's like, ooh, get away from me, scrub, loser, you know. Uh, you could do better than that. Stop being so lazy. No, I don't want to go on a walking date with you. Get some, you know, get some uh, standards about yourself. No one wants to deal with you, you know, and they have to come back to that. And so they, you know, put these other type of women on a pedestal because the, the women over there, they know that those guys aren't staying there. They know those guys aren't going to marry them. They're just out for the, the cheap thrill of free food, free drinks and, and stuff like that. They're not, they're not trying to check for you. They're, you know, they're, they're about their business, especially in Brazil. Prostitution is legal there. Okay. Um, and then, and then men call us, oh, gold diggers and prostitutes. But, you know, the term used to be marrying up or dating with class or, you know, the high life. <laughs> And, and they, they, they feel bad about themselves, so they project that onto us. You know, what what are we supposed to be digging for, if not gold, <laughs> you know? Losers, you know? Oh my God, my dream is to grow up and marry that man that's a loser. My dream is to grow up and marry that man I have to struggle with. My dream is to grow up and just be with the average Joe because I shouldn't want any more in life about myself because I deserve that. I shouldn't want him to do extra for me or my family because, you know, I don't know. I, I just, I just think I'm supposed to say that, but you know, men are supposed to be the breadwinners. They're built bigger. They're supposed to be more logical. They're supposed to be able to bring in the bacon, the money. And now they're sitting here complaining like little sissies. That's just a turn off and disgusting. I mean, if a, if a woman is straight, she's not going to deal with that type of man. She's going to be like, boy, bye. You know, boy, bye. <laughs> and then they wonder why they get used because the, the women don't see uh, long term potential in you. They don't. They just see you as, you know, their little brother or, you know, a child or something like that. Any man with his hand out is beneath a woman you know it's it just can't be done if there's no there will never be respect there there will never be um any type of uh submission or natural submission to you because why <laughs> you know and i feel sorry for guys who will make more excuses and they will make moves to improve themselves i mean i can sit here and think of a thousand excuses and they will get me nowhere or I can sit up and sit up here and think of a thousand solutions that will get me to where I need to go. 
okay? Men are just have just settled uh, for mediocrity, and it's sickening. Like, it's just, why? You know, is that all you want for yourself? Is that all you want for yourself? Really? Okay. Well, if that's all you want for yourself, don't expect to get any type of uh, decent woman unless you leave the country and go trick some prostitutes on the DL. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Bye.